You're watching The Roach on Florida TV. Do you do you remember that? Um, do you remember that sanctuary we went to in uh, Puerto Vallarta? Well, that's what I was just thinking of. Um, we we. I think it was a zoo. It was a zoo, right, Vallarta. right, that's true. And, and we had, we were doing a story, yep. and we had a wonderful experience, um, and it was pretty much the same thing. And it was, it was a, in my mind then, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to play with baby, baby cubs. And it was awesome. And, yeah, and you see the video and, right there of you playing with it. Uh, our son was it, in it, um, and we, you know, we love that idea. But you know, yeah, it was it was great. And but I even remember us talking about it. What happens when they get older? And you know, and they do have other lions and tigers and in, in in the zoo. And so, you know, but there is such a short window. Yeah, and well, uh, and they can only house so many so at many, that particular yeah. zoo. So they either have to go to another zoo in Mexico or the United States or you know somewhere else in the world. So they have to sell them and get rid of them. But yeah, I don't think we could get a clear answer when we were there where exactly <laughs> these uh, yeah. you know tigers went to. Um, but it was a cool. It was a cool place that, you know, they, the it was animal, very clean. It very was clean nice, and safe, yeah. and it, it yeah. was a wonderful experience. But, you know, I, I know you and I have talked about over the years of, of all the animal stories that we have done that we've sort of, you know, you can, we've sort of evolved, and, you know, we kind of look at that now, and, and I don't want to put words in, into your mouth. You can answer yeah. this, but I've kind of evolved where I'm going, eh. Maybe this isn't the best idea for these these creatures. Yeah, and you know when you're when you're sitting, looking for things to do, and you see, wow, I can go play with a, a baby tiger, and you look at the pictures, and it's so cool, and and it really is a cool experience. You don't think about what happens after that, and you just sign up and you go and do it. And I I think one thing that you and I are doing now is we're not just looking at it at the moment, we're looking at it down the road and the consequences that then happen. Um, I, I'm not sure if I would want to do something like that now. And, um, and especially after this film and seeing what could possibly, could possibly happen or this uh, series. Um, yeah, a lot of folks are talking out there that this is sort of the uh, black fish moment for tigers and lions in captivity. Everyone is, is you know, sort of making the comparison to what happened with Blackfish and SeaWorld right here in this town. Yeah. And, um, you know, all of a sudden people were, you know, <laughs> angry at Shamu <laughs> and not happy with Shamu suddenly being in this habitat. And, right. you know, um, you and I have talked about this, you know, SeaWorld has done so many wonderful things over the years, great yeah. things. They got us caring about dolphins and and uh, whales, but because believe me, when I was a kid, nobody cared at all about them, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so, but I, yeah, a lot of people are just saying, this is, this may be a turning point that everyone finally goes, you know, we, these, these animals in captivity like this, it has to change. Yes, and one thing that really shocked me in this is that there's more big cats in captivity than they are out in the wild. Yeah. And it's like, what are we, what are we doing to our world? Yeah. Why, why, why is it that way? And what can we do to change it? And I don't have the answers to it, but it's almost like, okay, we need to take a step back. There's something wrong with this, with this picture. Um, and I do know when I go to zoos now, I feel very differently now than I did when I was a child um, because I do sense that they want to run free and they want to do things. Um, you and I um, had a wonderful opportunity to go shoot the mountain gorillas in Africa. And after seeing them in the wild and in their own uh, habitat, it's so weird for me now to go to a zoo and to see them in, even if it's the best enclosure, the best you know place that they can have, it's still 
different. They don't have the miles of, of mountain forest to, to run through. And, yeah, uh, well, the mountain gorillas are literally yeah. trapped on these volcanoes, yeah, and everyone around Rwanda, it's all built up. So they literally, sometimes they said they wander into town or near yeah. the edge of the some of the farming villages and stuff around there. But, yeah, they've got nowhere to go. They're trapped. Right. They're literally uh, trapped in, in that. And, and, and then they have their own problems with that, too. There's people poaching, yeah. you know, the, uh, the gorillas. And um, um, I do know when we were doing that, not to get off subject, but when we were with the mountain gorillas, the um, uh, our guides, you know, had um, machetes and guns with them. And it wasn't to protect us from the gorillas. It was to protect the gorillas from other people coming in. And... Um, you know, and, and yeah, I, I think they would have shot us first before killing one of those gorillas. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> those guys but, were dedicated. But it was dedicated. also there to protect yeah. from poachers yeah. coming in. Oh yeah, it's a yeah. real problem. Guys yeah. going in there, and well, you can't listen. You, you you can't blame somebody that lives in that part of Africa, and all they're trying to do is you know, eat and survive, and you know, get on with the next day. So for them, killing a gorilla would probably be equivalent to us killing a, a cow. You know, I want to eat and I'll do what I need to do to survive. So, I yeah. listen, it's not right. I get it. We love the gorillas, but I also understand those people are just trying to do their best to, to go on. And I would assume, you know, if we look back with tigers, people the same thing. Now, I know there's a lot of, you know, poaching and, you know, they do all kinds of weird things they do with tigers. Tigers are kind of weird, though. Tigers are even a little bit different because the mountain gorillas really weren't trying to kill you when you go up there, even though they've been sort of <laughs> habituated. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not trying to attack you, but tigers are are predatory. They will, they will hunt a person yeah. down. Well, they, your food, your food, your food. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the few sure. animals in the in the food chain that will look you, you know. Mm -hmm look for you and, and hunt you down. So, yeah, it's a weird thing. What do we do with these things in the, you know, places like India and stuff where, you know, these, these, these creatures have been roaming around freely forever. It's hard, yeah, it probably, it's probably safer in the cages, right? <laughs> Right it, for 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 the tigers for the tigers for the, well yeah. for both yeah, yeah 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 right well I think that's why there are more in cages than in in, uh, in yeah. the wild yeah I mean you can't have them you know walking around Mumbai just walking around down the street right yeah <laughs> I don't know you, you you know how I feel about yeah animals and we're just I, I I view it as we're taking over their land you know I I. I believe that they were, you know, they they're in their land first, right. and then us humans come and and yeah, we, knock everything we, we knock down, trees down, yeah. and you know, yeah, so. get out of the way, and mm -hmm. yeah, and then we kill them. I mean, yeah. we do that we do that here in Florida with just about every species, and you know, then we wonder why you know they're struggling. So yeah, it's definitely a overkill, overbuilding. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's certainly a, a problem. Yeah. Um, no more roach on Florida TV.